What's up, divas? It's your girls, April and... And we are back for another haul. This one is from SammyDress.com. They are affiliate sites to Rose Gal, Rose Wholesale, Gamiz, Zaffle, Dress Lily, and Twinkle Deals, amongst maybe a couple other ones that I just don't know about. So this one right here, we do have like a bunch of stuff. It did take our order a little bit longer than normal to come this time, but you know, it is what it is. They always advertise coupon codes on the website, but number one key to ordering from any of these sites, so because they are China-based, you do need to make sure that you measure yourself, measure your hips, waist, bust, and legs, shoulders, and for each garment of clothing that you're looking at, make sure that you check the measurement charts as well because each one does vary. Also, keep in mind that processing time does vary for each item. Some have in stock available, which is right there in stock available at their warehouse. Some are three-day processing, some are five to 10, and some are seven to 15. I don't never really pick the 7 to 15 just because I just think like it's gonna take forever to come and Honestly, I have picked 7 to 15 and the stuff probably came like a month and a half later So, you know if you can avoid it then do it But if you are patient then just you know, you know what I'm saying check it out But they do have like loads of items on their website. So definitely when you have time you got time to go through all those pages, you know what I'm saying? They look at them. They got loads of shoes, bags, purses, makeup, beauty products, household stuff. They have everything. Um, also, they do have shipping, um, different shipping methods as well as that. They also do have different payment methods also. So, with that being said, we are going to get into this haul because it's probably going to be a little bit long. So, we do apologize for that. We hope you guys enjoy this because I have a really great time with my daughter doing these try-ons for you guys. And we also do like to give our opinions because we are opinionated right now I'm gonna let Nay start out with the things that she did not try on um these were a pair of socks like unicorns with the donut riding on it I thought it was pretty cute yeah. I like socks I like to keep my feet warm yeah, they're white on the back and they're just ankle socks um she does like like a whole bunch of different kind of socks and she doesn't really match them up all the time but she likes I'm them. not going anywhere I also have a pair of shorts, a pair of shorts to wear around the house or like around for dance or whatever. Which I thought these were really cute. They're really comfy too. So these are cute. Does have the elastic waist and also a drawstring. And these are more or less sports shorts. So, you know, if you're into exercising or like she said for dance, these are really cool for that because they're really, you know, like she said, comfortable. They're comfy. They're comfy, she said. Extra large. And these are another pair of shorts that you know, just to walk around the house or to dance with or maybe exercise, like you said. And they are a size extra large. So it is like a see-through side, mesh side paneling on them. And they're like um, nylon material, so they're really, really stretchy. They're like high-waisted right here. And the see-through sides on the thighs. So really cute. Now we're going to get into the stuff that we tried on. I don't remember. I don't think I got any glasses this time around. I didn't get any glasses. I didn't get any purses or anything like that. I just got clothes, you know. Um, they got some really cute stuff. You just have to be patient. The section that I look in is the plus size section because... You know, their sizes run small, so some of the things that I get is like a 2X. Yeah, so, so the first thing that you see me wearing in the video is this kind of like hooded dress. Um, not really sure if it's a shirt or a dress, but I definitely will wear it only as a um, shirt. I think it's really cute. The size that I have in it is a 2X. I do like the roping on the side of it. Plus, I do like the fact that you can um, tighten it if it's a little bit too loose. You can pull it in on each side. Um, I like the color because it's more or less like a reddish pink color but I like the kind of like radiant effect in the actual color of it and also I do like the fact that it's kind of like high low it's something really different it does have like the finger hole where you can put your thumb through it in the sleeves and wear it down further if you choose to but it's really comfortable it is um, really stretchy I just paired it with some leggings for the video I think it's rather really really cute so for my next item I have these rose jeans with the but like fishnets kind of underneath it. I thought they would have been longer. Did you? It looked like it looked, it looked longer on the picture, but they're flood pants. Oh, flood I, pants. I thought they look cute on you. They are really cute. I like them. They're really nice and really stretchy and really fitting. I like them. I like the fact that where they where it's cut open at, it has like this kind of like fishnet detail right here. However. I might have to sew it on like up here just so that way it doesn't like really really rip off but I like the way it's these are really stretchy 
I don't like the length that they are though. But did they fit like they where they 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 look like they run small, but they really do stretch really mm -hmm. well. Really good. They do. Mm -hmm. And then they have the zipper and the button closure and the pockets in the back and the size that you have. What size are those? Those are a double XL, so they do kind of run small if she's wearing them, but they're really cute. I like them a lot. I wore paired them with this jean jacket with um, a red hoodie. It's really cute. I like the detail of it. And I also like the fact that you can't take off the hood, the red part of the hoodie. And I like the distressed part of the denim jacket. It's made really well. Um, as you guys can see in the video, this is just like a regular denim jacket. Like she said, the hood is removable. They did attach like some type of kind of like ribbon on the side, which is also removable. I guess it kind of made it like you know, different and cool, you know what I'm saying, a little edgy. It gave it kind of like that edgy look, mm -hmm. but it's a nice jacket. The distressing of it is really nice. And also for the price and the quality of it, I think like the jacket was a number one hit. Plus I like the fact of the red hood part. Um, the red hood part kind of like brought the denim color out a lot in it. But I think like for the red hooded part, I think they could have did a little bit better with the buttons just so that way it doesn't show as much. But for the most part, I think it looked really cute on her. I like the way she paired it with the, the black jeans. I think the red kind of like tied it in together with the, the jacket and the actual pants, the roses of the pants. That's what they tied it in together. So the next item that I have on is this cardigan, but it's very open in the front. For one, it's kind of too big. Um, I didn't go by the size chart. I didn't, I didn't. I felt like, you know, I didn't really know the material fabric that it was going to be in so if I had I would have known that it was more or less like a very like lightweight sweater material I would have definitely got it like in my size so I did get it a size too big um, but I still like it because I like the way it looks let me tell you I love anything that goes with these leggings I have five pair of them now so hunties make sure you guys get you a pair but right now She's not gonna say anything about it. But I do like the cardigan. The one thing that I think this is lacking, but I'm gonna make it happen, I'm going to fix it myself, is I think like in the front where it kinda like folds over, I think they need to have like either buttons or snaps or even like a Velcro piece right there. So that way you can keep it closed. So for me, I'ma just do that myself. I do notice that a lot of their cardigans don't have any type of snaps or buttons just to keep them closed. But um, that's the one thing that I think will look really cute with this is if it was to close but I also like the fact is like it's really loose fitting it's very comfortable so you can just pair this with like your favorite pair of jeans or your favorite leggings like I have on in this video okay what you got girl um, I have a pair of leggings the one thing I really liked about the leggings was this part right here I could like hold my phone or whatever yeah. in case I'm like I don't know exercising yeah I'm going to campus or something I don't know those are cute though. I like I like the pocket too. The the, the ankles. It was the ankle part. They were, they were really tight around my ankles. Oh, they weren't tapered enough. Um, I like I don't like my ankles to show. Like I don't know. I like my ankles to be when it. I like for the pants to be tapered. If they're supposed to be tapered, I like them to be like really really tapered at the ankles. Not like all floppy. You mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't like mine like to a be pair of like floppy. I don't know boots. Oh okay. Like gray boots. Okay. Oh, okay. Did she say the Sam's Club Uggs? I kind of like my Sam's Club Uggs. I like them too. They're comfortable. But those are cute because they're high-waisted. They're like the lycra material, you know. They're good for exercising. Definitely for the pockets. They're all kind of too big because they're a double XL. That size. I think the sizing chart was a little bit off for those. Up next, I do have on this cute little kind of, they called it a sheath dress on the website, but I don't know about all that. I like this dress. First of all, I did not know it was so stretchy like this and fitting. Um, on the model, it kind of doesn't look like it's fitting. It kind of looks like it's a looser fit. But I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna just take a gamble with it. I thought it was kind of like a kind of um, like a silkish type of material. And I did get it in a 2X because I'm like, well, let me just be on the safe side and get this like a 2X because I don't know if it stretches. And let me tell y'all, when I got it, I was like, 
this is even better than the picture like seriously this the picture didn't even do this dress any justice it looks so pretty in person and it's actually a layered dress so it is kind of like um, it's not so sheer and see-through but it does have like a satin or a slip kind of like underneath it is very stretchy there isn't any type of zipper or button to get into the dress I do like the detail on it I like the way it just kind of like fits me like a glove and also I I like where it ends at because it's not too short but this dress is so cute like for real I think like this is like one of my favorite items out of this um, out of this haul altogether I think like this is like my favorite item plus I was kind of like apprehensive about the floral print but then when I got the dress I was like oh my gosh this is like so cute like, for my next um, piece I have a nice pair of black jeans the rips in them. I really do like ripped jeans a lot. Uh, they have a nice, they're really, they're really comfortable. They're not too tight around like the waist or whatever, but they have a nice, I guess, a little stretch to them. But overall, they're really nice. They're really comfy. I like them. You know what's so funny? I got those same jeans too. I think I got them from Rose Wholesale, the sister size, the exact same pair. And they are really nice. And then once you start to wash them, they get a little bit more frayed and stuff. But they did a good job with those. The quality of those jeans are really good. They are nice and stretchy. Those are a size extra large. It just has the normal pocket detail. And they're tapered really nice at the bottom. But if you're looking for like a really nice pair of distressed black denim jeans, then those ones are really good. And they're not too heavyweight. I think those are really cute. And in the back, they're just all plain, and then just in the front, that's where they're cut up the most. So I like them. So my next item is this royal blue bodycon dress. So on the website, you don't really see like a model modeling this. It's just a dress, you know, just a dress, no model modeling it. So I did get it in a double XL. Um, the material is good. I like the material because it's very stretchy. It's not too cheap. It's a really nice stretch material. It's a little bit not thick but not thin it's it's a good quality stretch this is this kind of material is great for a dress so it doesn't look like it's a cheap quality um and like i said i liked it on the website um and i still like it in person i'm not really sure i'm kind of like i don't know if i like it or i don't like it i'm kind of like iffy about it i think it all depends on what i would wear it with i think it looks really really cute and then i think it doesn't and then i think it does so i'm kind of like on the flip side about the entire dress um, but I like the color of it a lot you know what I'm saying because I don't wear like a lot of royal blue so I'm trying to get into like different colors but it's an off the shoulder dress but if you wanted to wear it on the shoulder you can definitely do that um, at first I was kind of like does it look kind of like fiesta like but then it doesn't it just really fits like a glove the lace is good quality lace you know what I'm saying it stretches really well I do like kind of like the lattice opening and it's very plunging but, but for the most part I think it's made really good and it's not too short and it's not too long as well. So. This alien sweater is um, with the beware of the humans on it. I thought it was really cute and it's really nice fitting. It's not too tight or like it's just baggy enough to where you know it's comfortable. I like it. I just hope I don't get it dirty. I know, right? It's not too thick either. It's like a nice lightweight sweatshirt material. And it does. I think it looks really cute on her. Beware of the humans. Nays nasal different. So, you know. But I think the shirt like really fits her attitude as a person. And I just think she paired it cute with her jeans. But it just looks like a casual shirt. The quality of it is made really nicely. There's some sweatshirts that are like like the one she's gonna show you I don't really like that material some sweatshirts like really thick but they just don't fit and it's just like that material that makes you really hot I can't really explain it it's kind of like that polyester sweatshirt material but this one isn't it's really like a lightweight material and I think it's really cute um and it has like the perfect fit so, to it the next thing okay so I was really excited about this dress because I seen it in and I was gonna pick it out in red and black so I'm really glad that I didn't get it in both colors because I was kind of like disappointed about it nay says I should read the um, description of what the, the garments are made of and so I I did start doing that after she told me about this dress and she said it to me before but I really didn't like 
take heed to but you should actually read the description to see if it's polyester some say polyester some say polyester spandex I think when it says polyester spandex it's more or less like this cheap kind of like material where I call it that Instagram kind of like material the Instagram body cons where you can see like you know your panty line and stuff through it like I'm not really sure if you can see my panty line through this but I feel like the material is kind of like it's not cheap but it's not it's not too cheap but I just think like I thought that the dress was cotton you know what I mean and that it was gonna really fit nice that's that's how it looked on the website um, but unfortunately it's not as you guys can see and the size that I got is a double XL and the reason why I probably thought it was cotton is definitely because of the front um, kind of like flat ruffles that's why I thought it was like harder material but it's very soft but you know what I'm saying I like the length of it but I just wish that it was made with like a better material a little bit thicker material and not so stretchy um, I could have definitely got away with a extra large for this one right here but like I said I thought it was like cotton so I, I just was more or less like you know what let me get it in a double XL because it's probably gonna shrink and it's probably not gonna fit right um it is off the shoulder so it does have like I like this part right here though where it will definitely keep your dress on from falling off but for the most part I really wish that it was a little bit um, better quality fabric but I do like the three quarter sleeves on it. That made it, it made it kind of sexy with the length in the sleeves, okay? Next, um, the next item is um, just a plain basic um, sweatshirt with the everybody on there. I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but I thought it was really nice. It's a really nice color too, a really nice color touch to it, so I like it a lot. It's not too tight or not too like way too baggy, but it's really nice, nice fit. I just wish the collar part wasn't so tight on my neck. On your neck, right? I hate stuff tight on my neck too. But I like the fact that it has the two pockets and it's I like the fact that it's not that thick sweatshirt. It's more or less like a t-shirt type of material, right? Mm -hmm. It's there, and I think it was more, that one was like the one size items. I'll never mess with those one size items because those one sizes don't fit for my size, so I kind of like don't mess with those. But for her, it looked cute. She paired it with her black jeans, which was cute. And it's just like a basic sweatshirt, t-shirt type of thing, like hoodie. And she liked the pockets. Okay, so on the website, I thought this shirt was so cute on a girl. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this, it's really cute. It has the open shoulders or whatever. And then when I put it on, um, what was that all about with the shoulders? I was like, nay. Nay was like, well, maybe you gotta, I don't know, but they made the hole right here way too big. So as you guys can see, it's all flapping to the side. And I really was not feeling that. The size that I got is a 14, which was, I think it was like an extra large. Um, it fit well, but the only part that didn't fit well was the where the shoulders was at, like, I, or the arm thing. Like, you I was to do something with the legs, I'm going to tighten it up there. That's what I did. I did pull it in oh, tighter. Yeah, but... Girl, if I tighten it all the way up here, I'll be. It, it's, it's, it's it stopped so like it. right here. No, it stopped right here. The the, where yeah. I had it on, it stopped right here. Yeah, I thought I thought it was cute on the website, but um, a girl was not too. Mm -mm. I felt like a lost pirate or something. R, R yeah, like they say R. I just, I don't know. It was kind of like. It just threw my legging game off, okay? I thought it was gonna look cute with my leggings, and it just did not. Um, it's just a plain, basic, burgundy kind of hoodie. Um, I just wish they had pockets, because I don't like my hands to get cold, and then if my jeans are, my jean pockets are too tight, then I can't put my hands through there to get my hands warm, so it's just like I have freezing cold hands for the whole day. And wasn't it a one size? It was a one size, and it was, the hood was so, was massively small in the arms. The arm part was really small, and I think it's because of this right here that made it really small, but. Because of the paint, the straight paint. Mm -hmm. And then the hood was like, it was it was short. I think it was short too at the waist. It's comfortable though. Like Is it? it? Oh, okay. I like it, I just wish I had pockets though. I've never seen like a hoodie without pockets, but. So next item I have on is this kind of like wrap shirt. Let me tell y'all ladies, like I said, sometimes they need to put some buttons on stuff. And this one right here, 
it just kept opening and opening trust and believe I was not trying to expose myself to you guys or flash you guys but it does definitely need a snap or some type of velcro or button on it so I guess I'll be working on this shirt too I like it it's really cute but the fact that it just keeps opening you cannot wear this shirt without even putting a button a snap some velcro or a safety pin on the side to keep it closed and that goes for kind of like maybe both sides if you're gonna get the shirt make sure just you got like a sewing kit on hand just to add a couple of features to it it's very lightweight um, the size that I have is an extra large I do like the fact that it's high low and it kind of like rouches or kind of like gathers in the front um, underneath my last thing is um off the shoulder kind of ruffle shirt or a peasant shirt as everyone else wants to call it oh everyone else what when you say that's what they shirt. call it but that's what that's what I've seen them call I thought it was really cute the well, I just wish it didn't have the tie thing. Why? Because I have to keep I have to keep tying it and tying oh, you can it. Cut it off. I don't wanna You know you don't have to keep tying it. All you gotta do is go like this. Even when it's double knot it still comes. I just uh -huh. wish the the tie was a different part of material so it wouldn't but slip out and now it's never gonna come loose. What if I wanna wear it? Oh. I thought it was really cute at the, I like the ruffle part at the, for the off the shoulder part. I thought it was really, really cute. Um, you can wear it tucked in or just like wear it out however you want to, but. Um, Especially like the top part because it has the elastic. Mm -hmm. So you know how some things that you have like off the shoulder and it just doesn't stay, like it just, it does, it, it always slips down. I hate that, it just drives me crazy. But I like that because it has the elastic. But that looks cute on you. Especially with it tucked in, I think she looks really cute in it. I like the sleeves with the um, ruffled sleeves and stuff. And plus I like the lace detailing like in the middle of it. It looks really cute. Um, it kind of gives like, it's like a peasant shirt. Um, it, it reminds me of, it is a peasant shirt. She just gonna argue me down about it, but it's a peasant shirt because that's what I see them called ads. But anyway. I think it looks cute. Um, the size you got is a what? extra large. It's a really di it's really different. They like stuff like that. So also, I do have on in this video is the jeans and this shirt. Now this royal blue shirt I do have also in gray and black from their sister site. I love this um, these shirts. They're deep plunging. I like the um, slits on the sleeves. They're made really well. And it's just a workable shirt. Like you can wear this with a lot of different things, the shirt. But like I was saying, I do have it in gray and also in black. And it's just like, I like the color blue now. I don't know why, but I do like the color royal blue. Um, and as you guys see, I did pair it with these denim jeans um, from Sammy Dress. These are 3X. Um, as you guys know, they do run small. A 3X is supposed to fit a size 14 in their size chart, um, as it says. Um, they're really stretchy. I always go for the stretch jeans. I do not go for the jeans without any stretch because if you get them in a 3X and 4X, trust and believe you'll be giving them to your daughter. I do like the faded look of them. I do like also the ties on the side. But the one thing that I don't really like sometimes about their jeans is they're all, what is it, low rising? Is it called low rise, right? Yeah. I like my jeans to be like right where my belly button is at because I don't like my backside out. So with their jeans, I find myself constantly pulling them up because I feel like I'm exposing people or I just don't want my backside out. So that's the one thing that I don't like about their jeans. Or I have to wear like a tank top and make sure that I tuck it in to wear their jeans because I just don't like my jeans to be low rising jeans. I, I really like to my jeans to be like right where my waist is at. And then the last item, I love this jacket so much. I wish I would have got it in a smaller size, um, but I did get it in a size 2X. It has like a vintage look to it. It's very stylish. The back part, you can unloosen, you can make it tighter if you want. So I made it as tight as possible. I love the gold detailing of the buttons. Also, I do like the front, but I do think like, as for the front, um, it's a little bit loose, like I said, I would like it to be a little bit tighter. But I like this jacket a lot. It has a hood. But the one thing that it's lacking in all of their coats or their cardigans are lacking is pockets. There's no pockets. I like the lace trimming at the bottom of the actual jacket and on the sleeve too. The hood is really big and roomy, so as you guys can see, the hood kind of like drapes. It's really cute. This just reminds me of something like from back in the days, well, before my time. 
Harry Potter time, like, right? Like, is it Harry Potter? But either way, I thought it looked cute with my favorite pair of leggings. I like it. I like the jacket a lot. I do like it. I just wish it had pockets. So yes, you guys, that is it for our Sammy dress haul. We hope you guys enjoyed it. You can definitely check the links. We will provide them for you below for each item of clothing that we have. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up because you love us girls so much. We hope you have a happy holiday and stay deep and delicious. And we'll see you guys on a soon-to-come video. Bye.